Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another coach video. Sometimes you find yourself in the middle of the night scrolling online, doing some window shopping, and then that window shopping turns into real shopping. A few weeks later, your package arrives, you love it for like a hot second, and then you realized a few months later that it was a bad decision. Here are some coach items that I ordered and loved at the moment, then I regretted the purchase. Let's start off small. I bought this scarf with a vision in mind. I was gonna use it on one of my bags, but once I put it on, the color didn't go as well, and since I bought it, I have not used it. The bag that I was gonna put it on is this Coach Outlet Serena Satchel bag, I think that's the name of it and it's in the color white. I just feel like the color that's already on there goes well with the white versus this, it looks kind of muted and it didn't really work. I didn't really like how it looked. It's been a while since I bought it, so I can't even return it anymore. With that being said, I do have another regret purchase, which is this triangle scarf. I've used this scarf a few times. It's not like I haven't used it. I used this scarf around my soft tabby and it creates a cute bow. But I just feel weird using hearts when it's on like Valentine's Day. But I don't think it should only be a Valentine's Day scarf. But for some reason, it's sitting in the closet without getting used. This next item is a total bad purchase. And it looks kind of nasty, so excuse that. And I guess let's just, let me show you. <laughs> It's the slippers. So when I first got them, they were super cushiony, they were comfortable, they were fun, and they were cute. I, I never took these outside the apartment. I only used them in the apartment and they still got that grimy. Do you see that? The fluffiness has gone down. They're flat now, as you can see, and they kind of make my feet slide. When I'm wearing them, they're just super slippery. I feel like my feet are slipping all over. They're still sitting with all my other shoes, but I haven't used them in a while. And I should probably get rid of them. I usually don't regret any of my bag purchases, but this bag, I barely use it. I mean, I have other bags that I barely use, but I like those bags and I don't plan on getting rid of them or anything. Like they're part of my collection and I have different ideas of where and when is a good time to wear them but with this one i gave it another try i try using it and falling in love with it but it's just not it's not my bag it's not my bag and i wanted this bag for quite some time before i bought it it's this bag and right now i'm having a brain fart and i don't remember the name of this bag i think it's the tate tate carry on 18 no, the 18 is a small one, I think. I'll link the video up here so you can see it. I really wanted this bag and it's super cute. And for whatever reason, when I try using it, I just don't like it. <laughs> it's so weird. This one was not cheap. It was pretty expensive, even with the discount. So it kind of sucks that I regret buying this because I wanted it so bad. <laughs> Those are the coach purchases that I regret. Luckily, that list is very short. Everything else that I have purchased throughout the years, I enjoy, I love, I use. If you have any coach regret purchases, make sure to leave them down in the comment section. I want to check out what you regret buying. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys. Yeah.